गाइस, आई एम प्रियंका मोदी वेलकम बैक टू पिंक विला टुडे डिजाइनर अर्पिता मेहता हैज इनवाइटेड मी टू वॉक थ्रू हर स्टोर सो लेट्स गेट इन I'm good. I will take you through all our classic mirror work jackets, which is our forte. And I mean, it's we've done it in multiple ways, in colors, like this. This um, is the outfit that we shot on uh, Vani Kapoor for my coffee table book. So we have this. Then we've got the black and whites. We've got the golds, creams. the rose gold so these are all our classic mirror work jackets going into some hangers i mean of course because we are dressing brides for mehndis and the wedding day so you see a lot of yellows pinks dust pinks and the blues this is another outfit that we shot on uh, kiara advani for my coffee table book so it's like a tiered hip hug lenga That's what we call it. It's apt for brides to wear for their mehndi. It's a very fun yellow. Outfit. I can see so many colors, and yeah. I'm already intrigued. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we do. I love color, and we love dressing our brides in color. So, this is our uh, one of our latest collections called um, Reflections. This is what we had showcased at Lakme Fashion Week. So we've done prints ranging from like a sand color. seashore color going into the mangoes and then into the flaming red so it's a very fun resort line that any girl could wear for either like a kaftan like a lounging holiday or she could wear it at home while entertaining people or if she wants to wear like a ruffle saree she could wear it for a mehndi or like a destination wedding very boho chic vibe very boho chic and i mean the, this is something that It's become a classic for us, like these ruffle sarees, the the feminine, soft, free flowing fabrics, along with fun prints. I think it's become like a brand thing now. Even like these um, shararas, these gararas and shararas are a huge hit with us. Brides love it, girls love it because it's a very flattering silhouette, and it's fun, it's playful, and at the same time, it looks dressy as well. My current favorite I'll show you is this piece. It's one of my most favorite pieces. So this is actually a draped blouse. Then we have a slim skirt with slits and we've teamed it with an all red on red linear mirror embroidered jacket. So it's very detailed, it's very sexy and it is something that someone could wear I mean to a red carpet event or even for their own personal event like if I'm having hosting a cocktail party or something like that or I could even wear the jacket just as a really short dress so I love the versatility of this outfit and of course as you see it's very striking with the red yes it's stunning yeah So yes, I wanted to show you this book where we is basically a very pictorial book and it it has all the beautiful campaigns that we done and just specially specifically for this book we got 10 amazing actors who are friends of the brand to shoot this for us in our garments of course. <laughs> so starting with here there's a picture of Sonam that we shot in This is very similar to the jacket that you were showing oh, with yes. like a slit skirt yes but like i mentioned that the the jackets are our identity you know like the mirror work jackets that we do so that's why we we wanted all the girls to be dressed in iconic outfits from the brand like ananya is wearing a mirror bralette and a printed skirt You know. I I like how you still cater to their own personal style I mean given a bra- giving a bralette to ananya yeah to like for like jacket. sonam yeah. we gave her a little layered look because sonam can pretty much carry off anything and she looks great in those for madhuri ma'am we did this um, organza saree very soft and elegant just like her graceful and timeless Oh, that's Sonakshi. Sonakshi. I love these photos. Thank you. This is again one of those BTS shots that we clicked during the shoot. We all went in camel carts right in the center of the run of Kutch, like the white sand 
Kutch. And it was quite a task, like I mentioned. See, I mean, see, mojdis, yeah. heels, sneakers that we were talking about, you know, lehenga and sneakers, yes. they kind of go hand in hand. Always, always cheat and be comfortable. <laughs> That's our vibe today. How has your journey been? And tell us, tell us about the last 10 years. So I feel I've been in the industry since the past 10 to 12 years, but recently we marked like the official 10 years of the brand and it has been super exciting. There have been tons of ups and downs, but I just feel that we've been blessed. We've worked hard and you know, we've, I think we've been grateful enough to come this far and looking forward for all the amazing things in the future. You cannot deny the fact that the pandemic has, you know, taken down a lot of businesses yeah. and taken a toll on fashion as an industry. Absolutely. So, uh, how are you coping with it and what are you like? How is your game right now? The pandemic actually, I feel, took a toll globally, not only for us over here, but all over the world. And uh, during these times, they were really sensitive times. So then we just had to make sure we are looking out for each other. Like we are looking out for the team, we are looking out for all the people that we work with, associate with. Thankfully, we didn't have to downsize uh, our business or like, you know, cut short anything at all. But we just had to make sure that we are being sensitive about everything that's around us. Do you think Bright should look out for trendy lehengas because, you know, everyone's wearing so say like a shoulder or a, yeah. a silhouette yeah. or should they keep it classic? I feel a bride should always keep it classic, at least for a main day, like the feras that we are talking about, because yeah. that is something that is going to be etched in your memory for life. So I feel it's always good to go with the classic silhouette and feel for the main day. But if you do have other functions, say like a pre-wedding party or you have like a small mehendi, I think those are the events and the functions where you can experiment with silhouettes, like you mentioned, like like some something exciting on the shoulder or maybe a slit in your skirt or wear like a sharara or a gharara. So those fun silhouettes are nice for your pre or post wedding parties but for the main day go classic. Are you pro sneakers with lehenga? Oh yes, <laughs> absolutely because I, I feel that every bride should be like dancing at her wedding and the most comfortable way of doing so is I think sneakily wearing sneakers <laughs> under your lehenga. Okay, so moving on, uh, there has, you cannot deny the fact that there has been a debate going on yeah. about uh, the whole uh, designers and plus size uh, women who are trying to, you know, get their lehengas done yeah. or are wanting to look their best for their, yeah. their big day. Yeah. Uh, do you think that that debate is valid? What, what is your take on it? I just feel that as a brand, we've been catering to all women all sizes be it a double xs xs s medium large xl double xl triple xl and in the beginning i used to just you know because the kind of women who were placing orders with us were very limited but i feel in the recent times in the past few years everyone has become so confident about dressing the way they want to dress that it has gotten us so excited to dress them. I mean, we've gotten so many orders in various sizes with the most amazing styles and we're like, wow, you know, we've received this order, like, you know, this, this person wants to wear this kind of a lehenga. It's amazing. We are getting really excited making these kind of garments because we custom make, like I mentioned, for everyone, yeah. for all sizes. So it's actually amazing to see everyone feeling that confidence to go ahead and wear what they want to wear. So when mm. it comes to uh, your design, they yeah. are different from the rest. Yeah. So how do you deal with your creative process? Mm. I know being from a creative industry, it does take a toll on you if your designs yeah. are, you know, plagiarized or yeah. somewhere copied. So yeah. how do you feel when that happens and how do you deal with it? We dealt with this phenomena of plagiarism pretty early on because uh, we were one of the few people who started um, mirror work and it was something completely new and different at that time. 
So our designs were getting copied left, right, and center. And in the beginning, I was flabbergasted. I was like, "What is going on? You know, like this is not fair." And I went into that whole emotional turmoil. The best way to deal with this is being a step ahead. You know, so I think that kind of even motivated us to to stay ahead of everyone. As in, if someone is already copying your work. let them copy it doesn't matter that just shows that okay you're on the right track you're doing something correct everyone loves your work and that's why they want to copy your work so that's what it is so you know when it comes to plagiarism diet mm-hmm. savya has been that one instagram account yeah, yeah. uh who has made this pretty evident to the world i mean yeah. it happened but not a lot of people knew about it yeah. so what are your your thoughts about you know diet savya doing what they do No, I think it's an amazing job because they are creating a lot of awareness about the original and the copies. And awareness is always good for everyone. I think it's kind of essential for everyone to know what is authentic and what isn't. So I think they're doing a great job. So I think on that note, uh, thank you so much for having us. Thank you, Priyanka. I'm so excited to do this with you guys. <laughs>